What's up everyone, it's John here from JJS Consulting Tech and I'm back again with another video. Now this one is a quick video about the Dante protocol. Now Dante is really cool because you can take your audio from a digital soundboard and put it onto a network. Now this is really good for churches and live environments because in these particular environments you would have different computers doing separate tasks. Like for instance, you will have a video computer doing all of the live switching and you will have a separate mixing computer for all audio. And the cool thing about that is that you can have a completely separate mix using a DAW on the mixing computer and then send that back onto the network to your video computer where it can then sync up and send it to various streaming platforms. Now let me tell you, Dante isn't as plug and play as everyone makes it out to be. There are some issues that I've been running into, namely the clicks and pops issue. Now I've been trying to figure out what in the world is going on, but there's a very important feature that you need to pay attention to, and it's called latency. So let me show you. So what you want to do is go to a computer with the Dante controller and then open that up. And this interface everyone should be familiar with, but what you want to pay attention to is device info. So that's at the top next to routing. And then click on any one of those devices on the network and then click on the latency tab. Now this graph is really important and what you really need to pay attention to is that green bar and the milliseconds at the bottom. Now you see that the packets are reaching this computer between zero and three milliseconds, but this one is set to six. Now if I switch over to the other computer, which is the streaming computer, now you see this red right here, this is because all of the packets are reaching between zero and three, but I have this set to six milliseconds. So that's where you will have the problems. So what you need to do to solve this is to open up Dante virtual sound card. And then if it's running, you just stop it. But right there where it says Dante latency, you will change that to a number that's closer to the green bar. So, I could possibly change this to like maybe four milliseconds and it will get rid of the red and the yellow and that should stop your clicks and pops. So there you have it. This is just a brief tutorial showing you what I did to solve this annoying clicks and pops issue. But not a lot of people talk about this latency thing and it's really a big deal. So make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with all your friends that are having this issue. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.